Hey everybody, my name is JC with 559 Mobile Detailing. And today I'm gonna tell you all the chemicals I use on the exterior wash. For people who don't know, how long you been detailing? I started detailing about two years ago. Got it. And how do you like to start exterior? Um, it really depends on the vehicle. So if the vehicle has a lot of dirt, we do a pre-foam. If the vehicle's in this type of condition, we just do a pre-rinse and we start the foam to do and, the contact wash. And what type of water are we gonna be using? For this vehicle, we have deionized water. Hey, here okay. in Fresno, man, is it hard to find water? So I have my own filter at home and it's easy for me to fill up. I just turn on the water hose, it filters up the water and it goes into my tank. Okay, why do you do it? Um, water does have a lot of residue. It leaves a lot of residue on the vehicles when the water dries. So we don't want any type of minerals drying out on the paint and making the job a little harder for us. Why not go to a, a location that offers water? So this filtration um, system that I have, I rent it out per month. Um, I, get, I bought the tank for $130 and then I pay $25 a month every month. And I get to keep the tank at home and it's just kind of whenever I need it, I need it. And whenever I don't use it, it just don't get used. All right, JC, when it comes to the foam, man, what you using? For this, we're using the Atomic Bomb from Mirror Finish. And yeah. how come you like it? I like this foam because it provides, it's a pH neutral soap and it provides a lot, a lot of suds, Got heavy it. suds, yeah. Now, have you ever tried a different type of soap before? Yeah, so um, we were going with the Avalanche from Auto Envy and that soap works wonders too, but this soap right here is more on the affordable price and I mean, you get more bang for your buck with this soap right here. Do you like soap that comes straight, ready to use, or, or that ones that you got dilute? I like soap that we dilute because on this right here, we, um, we use about 80% water on the foam canyon filled up and maybe about an ounce of soap. So it's super concentrated. Let me ask you guys, do you guys like to dilute your chemicals or do you guys like using ready to use? Drop it in the comments down below. All right, JC, what's the game plan for the outside, man? How are we drying it? Okay, so we just did the contact wash right now. Um, right now, what we're going with is the air dry. So we're gonna air dry all the windows, the paint, the wheels, and the tires. All right, guys, um, for the drying process, we're gonna use 3D, uh, beat it up to protect it and dry it at the same time. Now, is this for maintenance clients, new clients? <clears throat> Who gets this? protection everything depends on the condition of the vehicle so if the condition of the vehicle is in fair condition we could use something like beat it up to kind of do a quick uh, protection on it and to still get good results at the end and how do you like to apply for this so the vehicle we just air dried it when we air dry it we don't dry out the full paint we just kind of get all the cracks all the crevices most of the water and then we come through we spray some beat it up on the paint and then with a drying towel we just um polish it off and just try to make it shiny with this. Have you ever used a protection that you didn't know how to apply and then it left like streaks or marks or it was hard to come off? You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. so there's a, there's, a lot of, there's a lot of products in the market. We definitely tried some before out and then we work double. So we just stick to what works for us. And if there's a new product we want to try out, we try it out, but not at a job site. We try it out on our own personal cars to see how that user experience is like. Now, is this an upsell included in the package? Because I know some detailers, uh -huh. they charge for this, man. Yeah, 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 definitely. How do you do it, JC? Um, for this package, she's on a kind of like a, ma a month maintenance program. So, um, we do protect the vehicle because next time I come around, it's a lot easier for me to dry and a lot easier for me to maintain. So we always add protection just so that way it can make it easy for us as a detailer. And for the windows, what we like to use is called XH2O by Auto Envy. This is a highly concentrated chemical. So you pour um, dilution ratio is one to 28. A lot of cleaning solution for only a little bit of money. So, yep. And this gives you streak free and it, it cleans really well as well too. All right guys, but let me know, what do you use to clean your windows? Drop it down in the comments down below. All right guys, and then to dress the tires, I'm gonna show you guys what chemicals we use. Um, for the gloss, we're gonna use Super Gloss by Mirror Finish Polish. Let me show you how it works. 
Do you like glossy tires? Drop it in the comments down below. Yeah. And now, JC, we're not actually gonna clean inside the wheel wells and all that. Yeah. Because they're getting rid of the tires. Yeah. But what chemicals do you usually use? So for to be cleaning the rims, we use non-acid by Nano Skin. Um, we use a few different type of brushes to be able to clean it up, and then to do the final wipe down as a final detail on the rims we use beat it up to add a little bit of protection so that way it could have a little bit of protection on the rims. Hey JC, so I know we're focusing on the exterior, yeah. but we're about to do mats. Okay. What's the game plan? So for this, we're gonna pressure wash them real quick. I'm gonna do a light scrub on them real quick and then we're gonna lay down some protection. The protection we're gonna use today on this is this right here. So this is called Flash by Mirror Finish Products and it provides a non-slip finish. All right guys, so that was some of the chemicals we used to do an exterior detail. All right, let me know what kind of chemicals you use in the comments down below. And please let me know what kind of videos you wanna see in the future. Drop it down in the comments down below. And don't forget, like, subscribe, and follow us on Instagram. And we'll see you guys on the next one.